Feel Good Breakfast Show indeed. Welcome. This is your uh, this is Expresso on S3, and I feel like I need to say that today is Thursday. Yep. The 10th of March. Yes, it is. But we have a guest that is still on Wednesday, the 9th of March, as we have the honor of connecting with Ale, master photographer. He's a humanitarian and conservation activist. Simon Needham via Zoom this morning, and he's had a hugely successful career in advertising. And now Simon is attempting to raise $1 million for GG Conservation here in South Africa, an organization that has over 70 lions in their care. I mean, it's not often we get to be on two days in one go. Yeah, this is this is great. This is like a, yeah. a multiverse, a timeline <laughs> thing. Simon, uh, good evening. Good morning. Is that right? <laughs> good evening. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. Good day. Good. It makes sense, Good Simon. Day. It's great to have you. And I mean, obviously, this, 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 there's a clear passion for lions. Personally, mine came from yeah. The Lion King, the movie, uh, from the start. That's what got me. But of course, for you, it must have been quite different. I mean, you've got a, a successful career as a photographer already and a director, and now you change lenses to do wildlife conservation. What was it that got you to make that switch? Yeah, um, I'm. I, I must admit, I've been a photographer a long time and I've been enjoying my experience as a photographer. But um, more recently, I just got the opportunity to start traveling and shooting for humanitarian charities around the world. Um, and throughout that process, I then got, I got um, GG Conservation reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in shooting some content for their lions um, to help them market themselves throughout um, throughout the world and trying to pull in some sort of um, awareness for the lions and some, you know, fundraising opportunities as well. So, um, Susie, who I believe you're going to be speaking to this morning, um, was the person that contacted me and I'm really excited, I was really excited to go and photograph some of their lions. Sure. These lions are beautiful. It's beautiful, eh? Looking wow. at your work, that this is. is incredible. You know what, Simon, something that's quite new for South Africans to wrap our minds around is NFTs. Mm -hmm. And you have an NFT yeah. collection, the NKWK, which stands for No Kingdom Without Kings. Now, and this also right. highlights the importance of real world animal wildlife conservation. Now, the project is focused yeah. on bringing awareness and funding to wildlife organizations. That is what you are part of. Do you mind just telling yeah. us a little bit more about this? Yes, yeah, so this first project is um, specifically related to GG Conservation. Um, as you mentioned earlier, we, our goal is to raise a million dollars uh, for the conservation, uh, for the sanctuary, to care and look after the lions that they currently have, as well as actually they, they will be bringing in some new lions from some new lions from out of the country. And um, certainly, there's going to be a lot of finances required to look after those lions. Mm -hmm. So um, the money is going to be a real help for them, I think. It's going to be a massive help indeed. And I know that you also, you know, not only it's a million dollars that you want to raise as well for this nonprofit organization, but as part of your NKWK collection, you've partnered with Glenn Garrett Conversation to give away a once in a lifetime opportunity to visit the world famous human lion cage. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about that. So, so that is a once in a lifetime experience it's absolutely fantastic situation to be in um, you actually you get the opportunity to go inside a plexiglass cage um, inside oh, wow. the lion camps and hang out inside that plexiglass clip plexiglass cage as the lions walk all over you on top of you around you um, and certainly it's it's very very exciting and also very nerve-wracking oh. when you have lions <laughs> so close to you so um, it, it's just an amazing, it, I've been in there and it's just, it was just fantastic. Oh my, I Simon, like, you triggered the cat lady. I know, I'm a huge cat lady on the show. <laughs> I might not have lions, but I do have oh, really? two little cats. I love that, the Paul image was my huh? favorite. Now, oh, you know what, looking at these Im Im images, they are beautiful. And I believe you also have an amazing photograph that you took of a lion that appears to be having a bad hair day. Please can we see that picture right. also, how did this moment come about? So, I, what I tend to do is I'll go and spend <laughs> several days at each charity that I work with. Yeah, that's so cute. Um, and through, through those days that I'm at the charities, at the sanctuaries that I'm working for, I'll just literally wander around the camps with my camera looking for interesting opportunities. And that was a moment where the lion just basically woke up, woke up from a long nap 
And um, as he woke up, he, he just looked startled and was wondering why I was so close to him with a camera. And um, yeah, it was just one of those lucky moments where his hair was just all over the place. I think he'd probably been rolling in the grass a little bit as well. So it was a great moment. In Africa, yeah. I would say he's derivant. Can I, can I tell you, Simon, what that picture represents is everybody who works in this particular show before we go live. Uh, I just wish you knew. Before hair and makeup, that is essentially who we are. We're actually going to use that now um, up in the office. But thank you so much for uh, giving awesome. us the details thus far. We've got so much more to chat about. We look forward to uh, chatting to you at a part two a little later. For now, let's jump with the news. Jamie thank Lee you. is standing by. It's my feel good. Welcome back. I missed you so much. I'm glad you're back here because a little earlier we were chatting to this person and now he's back again because we have more to unpack. Mm -hmm. We continue our conversation with LA master photographer, humanitarian and conservation activist Simon Needham and we're focusing on his broader conservation efforts now. A few organizations he's worked with across the globe including uh, Sasa Jukani Africa as well as Birds of Eden South Africa uh, to name a few all with the aim to raise awareness around the plight of animals and places around the world offering his photography skills to NGOs in need of professional quality images. And trust me, with those comes credibility and a lot more funding, which is so important. Simon, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Good to be here. Oh, well, I'm enjoying seeing your images on our screens right now. And Simon, as a photographer, you know, you are well-traveled and you've experienced so much for yourself, but you've also got an affinity for African wildlife. What was it for you that, yeah. you know, that you realized that this is something I want to get involved with? I think I've always been um, interested and had a passion for wildlife um, from being small, from being a small kid watching Nat Geo and so on on TV. Um, but then when I got the first opportunity and realized that so many charities and uh, sanctuaries need great content and great photography, um, I realized it was an opportunity to offer my skills and all, at the same time, selfishly, get an opportunity to get very close to some of these amazing and endangered animals. Oh. They are beautiful. And it's so true. You know, when you have that type of quality backing you, suddenly the credibility goes up with, you know, potential investors and people who want to actually contribute to causes. Right. But what draws you to a cause? I think that's a, that's a very important question because I'm sure there are a lot of NGOs watching now thinking, why didn't Simon take pictures for me? So what is it about a cause that really attracts you? So I think, I think it just recently I've had the opportunity to work for more co more. Uh, NGOs generally because I'm starting to be a little bit more recognized in terms of my work um, so I mean in the early days I was just happy to photograph any kind of wild animal and still am but obviously I'm, I'm very conscious of ensuring that I'm spending my time um, working with charities and, and um, sanctuaries that have you know been been sort of passed past the test if you like and I work with Susie at GG and she does a lot of the research and so on uh, before we go to these sanctuaries to ensure that, um, you know, they're very credible and they, they're doing everything they possibly can to help and do their best for these animals. Now, I always joke and say, you know, as South Africans, we don't, we don't roam around the lions and the cheetahs yeah. and the tigers. They're not here. But, you know, one thing that I've seen is, in fact, a photo of yours about your experience of photographing a rare white lion and that also happened here yeah. in South Africa. Can you tell us more about this beautiful moment or this beautiful lion in particular? I, I think we're talking about uh, Moya who is um, again you know we've talked about Gigi a lot this morning. Uh, Moya is a, just a, a white lion that's um, wow. just got been blessed with this stunning mane and has the ability to just impress anybody at any time and he, he's just an amazing animal and just a fantastic um, temperament he's a he's a lovely guy to to be close to not too close of course but <laughs> to be close to and he, he's become very famous around the world in different uh, newspapers and magazines and so on oh it's beautiful honestly wow uh, you know, we mentioned earlier that you're uh, busy with your uh, No Kingdom Without Kings, NKWK NFT collection. Yeah. Any other amazing wildlife projects we can look forward to later this year? Well, I think, I think the, the, long, the longer term intent is to work with other charities to do a similar sort of, to work through a similar process of um, NFTs and so on. But in the short term, we're looking at working on some um, virtual reality 
um, aspects to the project. Um, once we get this first drop down, we've got we drop in 12, 13 images to start with, and then once those have um, gone and we've raised some funds, we're going to look into doing some virtual reality work that enables um, owners of the NFT to get uh, exclusive opportunities to get their Oculus out and experience some of oh, these amazing wow. uh, animals and wildlife face-to-face -face almost, if you like, virtually face-to-face. Oh, I love the little personalities you can see in each of those photographs. Simon, this is incredible and it was yeah. wonderful talking to you and also to see your Thank you. art. This is unbelievable. Yeah. This is absolutely incredible and I, I will tell you, Simon, we'll be chatting to Gigi a little bit later to unpack a bit more and, and why there's such a awesome. great connection. But um, thank you very much for being here, for sharing your passion and your talent and we look forward to many more projects such as this and hopefully this is a catalyst for many more photographers who have the know-how and skills to bring more attention to NGOs uh, such as GG, as the one that you are supporting. Because um, you know what, when we've got expertise and we are sharing expertise, I think the world is going to be a better place. Absolutely. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk on your program. Um, we need all the help we can with uh, wildlife these days. We certainly do. Thank you, Simon. That was Simon Needham, a yes, photographer extraordinaire you. and also a real master at capturing nature, nature's best moments. Now, Jihir is a quick reminder of his fantastic work. It's No Kingdom Without Kings NKWK, the NFT collection project. You can visit his website for more information. But now from talking about photographs to editing them, let's mm -hmm. find out which apps are the best for that. And we have the one and only Grant Hines to help us out.